Welcome back, you crazy gun nuts. Today I want to talk about the now discontinued CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. We've had three of these. Uh, we had a major issue with one of them that we had. That's why we sold our last two. Then I ended up doing some trading around and I got this one a couple years back. And this thing has thousands and thousands of rounds through it. But we'll get more into the discontinued. Uh, the reason it's discontinued. When they came out with the 3 Plus, that has more AR light controls. It's got uh, mag release up here like an AR has got. It's got uh, the bolt catch is more like an AR. The mag release on the S1 though was like, it was ambi. Like you can get it from this side or you can get it from this side. It was right dead in the center there. And aftermarket companies, I know Magpul makes them, they make an extension for this so you can run it like an AK. Just smack it, let the mag fall out, throw another mag in it. Anytime I think of PCC, like the number one PCC that comes to mind for me is the MP5. It's probably the most iconic PCC on the planet. It's been around for a long time and it's a great gun and it's very well understood that the MP5 is definitely the most iconic PCC. In my eyes, it might not be in yours, the second most iconic PCC is the CZ Scorpion. It's been in movies, it's been in video games, a lot of people know what they look like. The This configuration here with this style and that snout that comes down in the front that's easy to hold when you want to get a good grip on it especially with the angled foregrip on there man that is nice but this is in no means a cz scorpion review i'm just talking about how sad i am now that they quit making these um a few years back my wife and i oh i bought one i bought it was a black one and my wife loved it she goes i love that i'm like well, you can't have it so we went out and bought her one we had two and she ended up having an out of battery discharge with hers. And it blew the whole side out of the gun. And she shoots right handed, so that was bad because she's holding the gun like this. And it scratched her arm a little bit. So CZ did replace it. And they did fix that one side. And we were kind of spooked, so we got rid of them. And then she ended up getting a Strybog, which to her it's okay, but she still likes the Scorpion better. And me personally, I like shooting the Scorpion better as well. A lot of people I've heard say that they hate Scorpions because they shot it once was like, dude, that trigger's ass. And they're right. The factory trigger on this is absolute dog shit. But if you put the HP trigger springs in it, just the springs. So all you gotta do is change the springs in it. It's not that hard to do. Hardest part is getting that screw out of the bottom right there. Because getting that screw out, you can sometimes strip it or break it. But it's been safety checked. I'm gonna do a trigger pull on it. Trigger pull test with the Wheeler trigger pull gauge. And uh, I will show you guys, this is about, usually about five, five and a half pound pull with the springs in it. That's right there. Let's see, what is that? Yeah, it's right at five pounds. Really easy to uh, bump fire this. Like I get pretty good at the bump fire on this. I can usually get through almost a whole mag with one time. Uh, sometimes it's more depending on what can I got on the front. It seems like if I got a little bit more weight on the front, it seems to uh, bump fire better, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about how sad I am <laughs> that they got rid of this. This is just, this it's perfection of a PCC. This one here hasn't blown up yet, and hopefully it doesn't blow up, but CZ for listening, start making these again, because there's a lot of people that have not got to a chance to shoot these the fact that you made the magazine on the new 3 plus not backwards compatible you can't use or forward it's either backwards or forwards hell i don't know but this magazine that comes out of this scorpion does not work in the new one we probably got like more than one magazine so i don't want to, have to go out and buy a whole nother bag of magazines just for a new version of the scorpion you got out when these here worked great and I've also heard a lot of people talk about they don't, these guns don't run good. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not bullshitting, I'm not paid by uh, CZ, I'm not trying to sell you a CZ, I'm just saying. I have never, ever had a malfunction except for that one blowing up my wife. And we're just gonna say that that was not a battery discharge, hopefully. But whatever it was, I've never had a malfunction of any sort, I've never had a failure to feed, I've never had a failure to eject. The CZ Scorpions do chew up brass pretty good. If you're a reloader, then you know exactly what I'm talking about because you'll have a nice dent in the lip of the case. But they're able to be resized and used again. I do it all the time. 
I know that I personally have thousands of rounds through these. I mean, we shoot the living shit out of our PCCs because they're so fun to shoot. It's so much cheaper to shoot than a damn rifle is. I mean, you can't shoot 5.56 five, for what you can shoot a 9mm for. So that's why we shoot a lot of PCCs. We enjoy it. We've had 45 PCCs, 9mm. Fuck, we probably got 5, 6 PCCs now in 9mm. And I'm definitely going to get more. And I know a lot of people didn't like how the, the safety there digs into your finger when you're shooting it. And I understand that. And HP Industries, along with a couple other places now, make a delete where you can put just a round circle there and have safety on one side or the other. It's like the charging handle. It's ambi also. You can put it on one side or the other. I shoot left-handed, so I got it on the right side of the gun. They make a shit ton of different muzzle attachments for it. And it actually has two different threads on the front. So you can use this big giant ass thread. It's metric. I'm not sure what it is, but it's also got half 28 underneath of that. And that's what this adapter is for. That's for my uh, Griffin uh, can. It just little QD lock. I think cam lock is what they call it. But these things are tight drivers, man. Even at, you know, 75 yards, you're, you can have a nice tight group with them with an eight inch barrel. These are phenomenal. They're phenomenal weapons. And the fact that they quit making them makes me really question, do they for real know that these things blow up on people out of battery discharges and shit? Because we all know that it's the uh, safety thing inside, which I can't remember the fucking name of it. Uh, firing pin block. And it was a fucking brain block too. But due to the fact that they had the firing pin block issue with this, it would mushroom out and stay open and let the firing pin come forward and fire out a battery. I don't know anything about the Evo 3S1 or uh, 3 Plus, whatever the fuck it is. I don't really want to know anything about it because I'm really, really salty about having to buy brand new magazines for a gun that I've got the same namesake. It's a Scorpion. I mean, it's not the OG Scorpion with 32 ACP mags, but they've been making these long enough that they should have made them compatible with these magazines because people have a fuck ton of these magazines. These mags work and all kind of stuff. Now they got a mag that only works in the Scorpion. Their new... Uh, three plus that was a terrible move guys come on seriously you should make it compatible with these and from what i understand they're not selling really good and that's probably a big reason why people like the scorpion but they're like me going i ain't spending another three four hundred bucks on another stack of magazines just so you guys can change it next year but that's all i wanted to say in this video man i'm just freaking irritated so i seriously doubt i'll ever buy that new scorpion just because i have all these other magazines I've got like five different manufacturers magazines and they all work good. I haven't had any of them not feed right. They all feed good, easy to load. Dude, if you have not shot one of these, these load just like an AR. You don't have to sit there and put your thumb down and do this shit every time when you're loading it. You just take a round and you pop it in the top. Bam, 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 just like an AR or AK. Super simple to load. That's why we like these. That's why my wife likes these. Same with the Strybog mags. They load the same way. Just push the round down of there. And my wife doesn't like loading mags, but she does not mind giving me a hand with these. She really doesn't mind shooting them either. But if you love or hate the Scorpion, let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people hate them. That's on you, man. You've probably had a bad experience with it. I've had a bad experience with it as well. Not me, but my wife. And I still love the gun. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments whether you love it or hate it. And as always, man, thanks for watching. Stay safe and let's take back our second amendment.